Hey there, welcome to you Shopify speed optimization free course. In this class, we are going to learn about Shopify app. So we have already know that why Shopify store become so slow and we are going to learn step by step how we can make our Shopify website super fast and SEO friendly. Okay, in the previous class, we have learned everything in details about Shopify image optimization and today we are going to learn about using app so first we have to know why we use the app and what is the main reason to use app in the shopify store then we have to select the best app for our purpose and then we have to know how we can do the same things without any app okay so first of all i want to share something from one of my client website which one under development so he already started building her website by herself as a beginner and i found that he already used too much app or installed too much app in her website but it's very common issue because any new shop if uh, store owner do this because they don't know about that which one should use and which one should not use and how we can do the same things without uh, using any app okay so let's go back my skin here is one of my client shopify store and i am going to click on the apps and you can see that he already installed 23 app on her shopify store and he already shared that he is very beginner so it's very common things as a beginner he can use or install too much app but as an expert i have to share everything in detail so that you can understand how to use the shopify app in the best way to make speed up your Shopify store because you know Shopify app can slow down your website okay so we'll go back in the skin later and uh, try to remove unnecessary app and also we'll learn more about each app why we should remove this one and how we can get the same chart and what is the benefit of this chart okay so now go back Shopify app store and you can see that in Shopify app store Shopify already shared very important things as a category wise of Shopify app and from here we can easily understand why we should use the app so here are the four reason Shopify already shared to install any app on store the number one reason sales channel and second one store design and third one finding product and fourth one marketing so basically shopify user install app for this four reason to add sales channel like sell product by facebook instagram sales product by youtube google or share any other social platform and second things can be for store design as using shopify app it's easy to build store without any coding skill like using a face builder or add many things without any coding like email pop-up or any translated p-chart or any multi-currency p-chart a lot of things so second things can be used app for store design third one is finding product for example most of shopify users start using shopify for drop shipping and if you are using shopify for drop shipping business then you have to install app for drop shipping like dsart for aliexpress drop shipping Paintful, Pint on Demand, or Pintify. So, if you run dropshipping business, then you have to use app for Shopify dropshipping. Or number four, use app for marketing and converse. So, it's okay. We can use the four type of app based on our requirement, but we can skip the many things, many app for get this feature. For example, for the store design, we no need to actually use any app because app can slow down your shopify store we can do the same things by coding and you can hire any expert to add any feature in your store with coding so that you don't have to add app and pay every month and make your shopify store slow down so let me share an example go back my client website you can see that he already added 23 app in her store and i want to share one thing Hastom free shipping bar this is one of the shopify app he added this only free shipping bar 
but we can do this very easily if you watch few tutorials in youtube or you, if you watch few tutorials from my youtube channel you will find a tutorial how to add free shipping bar even you can hire someone for one time payment to add free shipping bar in your store so basically this app no need to install any shopify store you can make first your website just removing such type app from your store okay then we can easily skip the app to use in our store for store design then if we think about sales channel it's important we should add sales channel app in our shopify store like facebook and instagram and for google and youtube also we can add app for tiktok this is very necessary app we can add maximum three app for sales channel and skip store design related app then if you start drop shipping you can use desert aliexpress drop shipping app or fintipi print on demand and if you not started in drop shipping business then you no need to add any app relevant finding product let's go back my skin and let's check here my client already installed fintipi app because he run drop shipping business so we should keep it on her website okay so installing app relevant finding product totally depend on how you are doing the business if you do drop shipping business then you have to add drop shipping related app but maximum one app you no need to add multiple app like fintipi desert and fintful everything just one app so for sales channel we can use three app maximum and for drop shipping based on the business type we can use one app so total app will be four for marketing the most common and b important and necessary app will be for email marketing and for email marketing you can use clarabio or mailchimp so use anyone clarabio is doing very great right now for email marketing and sms marketing also they have very uh, advanced as automation system for marketing so you can use or select anyone mailchimp or clarabio so our total app number will be for marketing clavio for product finding research and for sales channel we can use three apps so maximum we can use five app in our store also we have to install others app relevant our business or based on our business for example if you want to add multi-language featured in your website then you have to install the app for multi-language and if you want to add multi currency chart then you have to install multi currency chart app in your store so i hope you understand everything how we should select our app and why we should use this app and why we should not so basically it's totally different on your requirement for example if you want to add advanced review app then you can add a review apps in your store if you want to make a a quick checkout feature then you have to add a quick checkout feature app in your store but here you can also get this feature without adding any app just if you use any premium advanced theme on your shopify store so when you start building your shopify online store and if you very serious about your shopify speed then you should contact with any shopify expert like me and audit your website and get a consultation service for one hours like uh, how to build a fast speed up shopify store so i hope you understand everything very clearly and my suggestion is that you should contact with any shopify expert like me and get a consultation service so that you get understand everything very clearly and you get a total perfect guideline about using the app on a restore based on your business and based on your business feature and requirement so now i'm going to share something very real life so i'm going to back my client website and we're going to remove few app as i want to share everything in live project okay so i'm going to scroll down and click on the app and sales channel settings and from here i'm going to remove one by one which one is not actually necessary for my client store first going to start from top looks for product review we need this one so we are not going to remove or uninstall facebook and instagram will keep this one fintful fint on demand we no need this app so i'm going to uninstall this one 
and remember that we have 23 app and we are going to remove unnecessary app right now then translate and translate for multi language or multi translate we are going to remove this one because this business is not for multiple countries so we no need multi currency in this store so going to remove or unstool this one then live chat and chatbot will keep this one for best customer service then shopakudu we are going to remove this one because we are not going to add volume discount feature by app we can add this feature with the basic shopify settings and you will find these tutorials in my youtube channel how to add discount feature in your shopify store so going to remove this one then best currency converter we will soon no need this one because we will sell our product only as single specific country we are not going to sell our product in multiple countries so we are not going to use any multi currency converter app that's make our store slow down so remove this one uninstall then track 1 to 3 for tracking order so we keep this one for better business management and after that be next gen builder so this app is basically for build shopify wise without any coding and build website with face builder so we are not going to install this app because he hired me to design her shopify store as a shopify developer so i am not going to use any face builder or then after sell post purchase app sell so i'm going to keep this one for after sales post purchase then inbox will keep this one because this is default shopify app then try any img s1 if speed optimization we can speed and optimize our store by manually we no need any app that make slow down our website so remove this one then drop friday drop shipping remove this one countdown timer bar we can add countdown by coding custom coding we no need to add such app for this feature so directly uninstall this one you will find such tutorial in my youtube channel how to add countdown in your shopify store without any app then free return automation we just share the free return details in our free return page so no need to add any app for this feature so just uninstall this one then booster s1 image optimizer totally uninstall this app because you have to do manually s1 optimization for better and best performance because google or other search engine love to work manually not using any app an app cannot make very best seo or can seo best way then has to free shipping bar remove no need to add app for display free shipping bar and ultimate sales boost just remove this one for sales you have to do marketing on social media run paid ad campaign your apps cannot help you to for boost sales then traffic booster by storia for traffic we have to do seo do video marketing social media marketing so traffic booster cannot help us at all to bring or get traffic in our store so uninstall this one then then vital just remove then sms bootcamp for sms marketing email marketing we use clivrio for email marketing and sms marketing but i'm going to keep this one just get the confirmation from client because i want to about my client that he want to use clivrio or sms bump or clivrio so just skip this one seo and redirect uninstall we have to redirect by manually auto ds all in one drop shipping just uninstall then desart for drop shipping of course we will keep this one for drop shipping business then pinterest email point on sell for email we use the clivio so remove this one okay then going to remove pinterest okay now go back the admin panel then click on the app and you can see that we have total installed app 6 and in freebies we have 23 apps so i hope you understand everything relevant shopify app how to select the app and why you should use app and why we should not use any app and how we get the same things without using the app so thank you for joining this class 
in the next class we will talk about unoptimized theme so i hope you understand everything and everything is clear about your shopify speed optimization and you can do this by yourself so thank you for your time to watch this video if you think this video is helpful then click on the like button and subscribe to my channel and if you need any service support relevant wordpress shopify shopify seo even social media marketing like creating a video content for your social media then you can contact with me have a nice day bye bye